So it's actually pretty easy to make your own screencast and uh, as you can see right now um, I'm at screener.com but uh, there are several other free apps that are out there. Uh, one I'd recommend if you're using a Mac and it just isn't working for you, screencastomatic.com offers you the same sort of recording functionality but it doesn't uh, have some of the glitches that you might encounter if you're using the latest Mac uh, operating system. But I'm using Screener with the Mac and the first thing that you want to remember to do is use an aspect ratio that's going to present well and upload well uh, to YouTube. So 16.9 uh, aspect ratio, that's effectively going to mean 1280 by 720, that's just good enough. And what this will mean is when you upload it into YouTube, you're not going to have the black bars on the left hand and the right hand side, and it's going to look great when people are viewing it. What are the uses of this? Um, when you're using Screener, you have five minutes uh, to create any sort of presentation or uh, lecture or just have a conversation with your students, for example. Students, in the same sort of fashion, can create their own slide shares and their own um, recordings using Screener. So you could actually use the software to encourage students to create collaborative projects. Um, just some examples of how you might use this in the classroom. Say, for example, you wanted to put something in your um, uh, your online course. You wanted to embed a brief lecture going over what you went over in class. You've got five minutes to do that, and you can make as many as you want. So if you want to break it down into several different presentations, you can. Uh, so what I've done, I'm actually combining some technology that's out there. I'm using a uh, service called SlideShare, and I'm going to bring up a... PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and this PowerPoint presentation is um, embryonic stem cells. And so imagine, if you will, we are, you are a ins biology instructor and you can just work through this presentation explaining things to students. Again, you've got five minutes, so you're not looking really to create a 45-minute lecture. Uh, you're just recapping uh, and making certain points. I can expand this if I want to. Um, but the point is you can do this very effectively, very quickly, and then embed that in your um, online course. Um, you can actually download the file, as we're just going to see now. I'm actually going to stop the presentation at 2 minutes and 40 seconds.